do me a favour this morning, take one hand, put another hand against it and rub them together as quick as you can. And hopefully, if you rub them quickly enough, you should have started to feel some heat generating. And that's a byproduct of what we call friction. See, friction is resistance that a surface encounters when moving on another. So for example, the friction of braking. It's just how a bike's brake work. For example, if I pull the brake here, you'll see at the back down here, do you see this move? What it's doing is it's pushing one surface onto another surface. And that creates friction, which slows the bike down. As a general rule, more friction means more heat being generated. So we can investigate this just in your house. Just move your hand through the air. Do you feel much heat? Now try running your hand up a wall. Do you feel a little bit of heat? If you've got a carpet in your house, if not use a table, run your hand along that as quick as you can. Oh, now that builds some heat. So hopefully you're starting to see that different surfaces generate different amounts of friction and we can investigate this a bit more using a ball. So for this I need my ball, I need a measuring tape and I also need to create a ramp. I've done one just with, uh, well this is a whiteboard but I can use a bit of cardboard and a wee box. Now I've created a wee table here because I'm going to investigate friction on carpet, on wood and on grass and I'm going to test each one three times and record the distance that my ball travels. Quickly before I start, I need to make a hypothesis. That's a prediction as to what I think will co generate the most friction and I can come back to it at the end. Now call me silly, but I think wood might generate lots of friction because it gets hot when it goes in a fire. Hmm, see though. Making sure my ramp is at the same height every time. Here we go, test number one. So I make that, I'll go from the back of the ball, a hundred and 18 centimetres. 118 centimetres. And so I need to complete my investigation. I'll wait to see how you get on with yours too.